everybody, and welcome back to Beyond the Steel Sky. My name is, of course, Constantine, and look at this. We are on top of the city. Man, I am loving how this looks. They have done an absolutely gorgeous job with this one. I mean, look at this. This is really, really beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so in the previous episode, we managed to get to this... Oh, the crap. We managed to get to this factory location. If I was right about the tracker. And I'd find lead here somewhere. Whoa, look at all the trash. Like what the heck? This is crazy. I don't know what to expect here. Hold up, can I actually interact with these? No, can I hack this? And we cannot even interact with it, so I don't know what that is all about. But apparently there's multiple passageways. Uh, so we do have a recycling terminal. Examine. I wasn't sure what the terminal controlled. Mm, yeah, I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to control either. Can I hack it? Mm, no. Alright, um... Let's go through here then. Let's see where this is gonna take us to. Oh! This area Hold up! Is restricted. You it's a robot. Not be here. It looked like the stun droid was guarding the whole process. Is it gonna stun me if I go close to it? Oh crap, it will! Holy crap! Dude! What is wrong with you? Chill out! It was a scrappy security droid with no, no, no. a vicious looking stun unit. Dang it! Is it gonna keep on freaking stunning me? Can I hack it? I cannot really hack it though. You shall not pass. Seriously, buddy? Yeah, I can definitely not pass him, that's for sure. Alright, alright, alright. I'm not gonna bother you anymore. Tank it. That was really weird, but... Man, look at this place. Are you kidding me right now? This is just gorgeous. I'm loving this. Alright, uh, let's go back here then. Maybe we gotta find up something, because... That freaking droid is not gonna allow me to pass. Let's see, maybe we can hack something. Huh. Anything down here that we need? Doesn't really look like it. Ah! What? Oh, what the crap? Who are you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> My guy got scared. What that was uh, that was funny. You security? No. Uh, I'm looking for a guy called Leet. Well, you just found him. Leet's oh, the name. He's Leet. Takes the game. Interesting. What can I do for you today? All right, we finally found Leet. It's about a friend of mine, a guy called Graham. I think you know him. I'm looking for some information. What sort of information? I need to know what he was doing here. Listen, pal, I can barely remember my own name. Let alone every Tom, Dick, and Graham that comes through here. I'll have to check my records. Sure. But, <laughs> oh, my head. What's up? Are you okay? Oh, it's my bleeding noggin. Need my medicine. Your medicine? Aye, my medicinal moonshine. It's over in the other building. Take this and fill it to the top. Then bring it back here. And you'll check your records? I will. You can trust me, pal. An unspoken deal had been made. Leet wanted his moonshine. I wanted information. Alright, so we know what we gotta do. Now the problem is, how the heck am I gonna get past that freaking robot? That freaking droid is not gonna allow me to pass. Uh, let's check out this then. Examine. It looked like the control panel for the conveyor belt and the crusher. Huh. What if I stop it? Interesting. Why did I do that though? Maybe I need to stop it at a certain point so that I can access something on the conveyor belt. Or never mind, apparently I can walk on the conveyor belt. What? It was a vicious looking crusher. Surprisingly, the drive cogs were exposed. Interesting. Uh, eventually, what can I do to it? I'm guessing I could use the... I mean, the mini case are not going to do anything to it, right? What about the crowbar? Well, that had thrown a wrench in the works. Oh, crap. To be more precise, a crowbar. 
No, did I just lose my crowbar? God dang it. Uh, before we... Oh, never mind. We cannot go there. Let's just activate this thing then. Let's see what's happening if I activate it now that the crowbar is uh, stuck in there. Pretty sure I'm not going to be able to grab my crowbar again. The conveyor belt jolted to yep, life it's jammed. And came to an abrupt stop. Huh. Oh, there we go. There's a droid. So hopefully, now that we... Hopefully now that the droid is coming... I can maybe... Oh crap. What? What the crap? <laughs> Come on. Seriously? Dang it, I got my crowbar back. Oh my god, seriously? So somehow... Oh, you know what? I think I gotta hide in the lockers. That's what I gotta do. Alright, hold up. Before we do anything, let's just check the junk. Some of the trash was marked with the logo of Asio City. Asio City. Hmm. Uh, what can we do inside here, though? Unicorn. A model Salmon. unicorn had been made out of plasticine. <laughs> hey, Lee. Found anything on Graham yet? Nothing yet. Hurry up with that moonshot. Medicine. All right, all right. I'm gonna bring it. <laughs> This guy seems to be Irish. I really love him. I wouldn't touch that, pal. Not if you know what's good for you. <laughs> All right, maybe I'm gonna have to grab a lid on. Uh, fish. Examine. Remember fish. Huh. All right. Anything else back here? Oh. Oh. Stay away from my office, you scum. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right. All right. I'm not gonna mess with your stuff. Oh, hold up. I, I, I'm stuck. Come, come on, Foster. There we go, there we go. Uh, I got myself unstuck. Alright, so I know what I gotta do. I think I'm gonna have to hide in here. Uh, but, first of all, let's stop. It like the control panel yeah, yeah, the I know, I know. And the crusher. I know. Let's just turn it off. There we go. Next up, once again, let's go use our thingamajig. Venturi crowbar. Well, that had thrown a wrench in the works. Or to be more <laughs> precise, a crowbar. All right, next up. Let's try to turn this on. This is definitely going to activate the, the bot. He's going to come here and try to figure this out. All right, and as he is going to come to me, let's hide. All right, hopefully I'm going to be able to now get out of this place. <laughs> Man, this is like a scary game. What the heck? Okay, there we go, there we go. There's a droid. What's he gonna do now? Huh. Oh, there we go. He is now trying to fix it. Let's see. If I try to leave... Hopefully he's not gonna spot me. Oh, look at that. He actually got the crowbar. So let's pick it back up. All right, buddy, now hurry up, get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go before he comes back. Oh, what? What the crap? That didn't work. But why? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what I gotta do this time. Hold up. So if I go with turn off. Perfect. Now, if I go all the way up here, uh, inventory crowbar. Well, that had thrown a wrench in the works. <laughs> or to be more precise, a crowbar. All right, perfect. And now let's turn this on. It looked I like the think I know what I got to do next. Belt and the crusher. All right, buddy. Let's hide again. Right. There we go. And as soon as the and as soon as the droid goes for the crowbar, that's when I'm gonna exit. Let's see here. All right, there we go. He is scanning, and I believe we can just get out now. Actually, no, not just yet. Hold up. Now, leave. And I have a feeling if I activate. The Crusher. I'm pretty sure this is gonna catch him and destroy him. The 
robot was nicely stuck in the crash. Ah, uh, there we go. Toast. <laughs> I knew it. Finally, we got him. All right, we got ourselves the crowbar. Now let's see. Can I do something to it? How's your head? <laughs> this is your fault. I love it. I'll do you for that. You're no, you won't. In an industrial crusher. I'm invincible. No, you're defective. I had to admire the droid spirit, but it was defeated. <laughs> All right. I wonder if I can do anything to it. No, it doesn't look like it. The droid was no longer a threat. Huh. All right. It would be awesome if we could actually do something to it, open its back or something like that, and put Joey inside it instead. I'm pretty sure Joey would love to be one of those droids. But anyway, now that we got rid of it, let's just make our way to this location, and uh, maybe we can find the moonshine for for the Irishman. Let's see. What about the right side? Man, I'm really loving this. Look at the look at this place. Are you kidding me right now? This is really good. All right, is this gonna open? Yes, it I was will. I struck by a wave of heat and burnt plastic. Huh. A blazing furnace lit the room, fed by a series of pipes leading into the roof. Interesting. I mean, this is the pipe system. The gas that had been flowing through the pipes was clearly powering the furnace. All right, can I actually control these? It doesn't look like we can control these panels, though. Oh, this has been broken. So I cannot go back to that side. All right, uh, let's go to the other side then, apparently, because there's nothing. I, there's nothing else I can do here. Uh, we cannot really squeeze through that. Whiteboard. Huh. I think I'm gonna be able to pass through this door, but maybe not just yet. Let's just go downstairs and see what we can find out here. Man, this this place looks crazy. Once again, unfortunately, because of the lag issues, I had to lower down the quality of the game quite a lot. Crushed spankle cans. Huh. The main ingredient of Leeds Moonshine appeared to be spankles. Oh, okay, well, good thing we have quite a few spankles on us. Uh, turn on. Huh. I mean, it looks like this stuff is Can't flowing. Can't that precious moonshine. Do I actually have to craft some more moonshine? I got no, I got no idea. Uh, let's use the inventory then and put the bottle on here. Let's see. There we go. We're filling it up. Perfect. Hopefully, this is exactly what he needs. To I hope that would encourage Lee to help me. Yep, me too. All right. Before we go back to Lee, let me look around here and see what else we can find. Nothing here. Nothing here. Oh crap! The flames from the furnace were fierce. I have a feeling I may need to turn off the furnace so that I can climb those stairs up there. I'm pretty sure about this. I just don't know how to do this just yet. Uh, hold up, let me check back here and let's see what we can find. I mean, there's definitely some panels, some controls here that we can maybe use later on. What about if I go through here? Holy crap. Oh, you know what? Hold up, this is where I actually uh, incapacitated that droid. <laughs> Oh no, you're not invincible, buddy. You are most definitely not invincible. Alright, so we got the moonshine. Let's just make my way back to Lee. Let's give him the drink and uh, hopefully we can now chat with him. I don't know. Let's see what's gonna happen next. Alright, let's see here. I just changed the FPS a little bit, just because I think it moves a little bit better with 60 FPS uh, rather than 30. I mean, it definitely feels like it's not choppy anymore, I don't know. Alright, so, let's see. Please, buddy, talk to me now that I got your moonshine. 
Hi there, Leet. Oh, uh, sorry. I was away with the fairies there. Any progress with my moonshine? You're in luck. I've got it right here. There we go. I knew we got the it. Old security droid wasn't up to much. <laughs> he won't be bothering you anymore. Good man. Now give me that bottle. <laughs> oh my god. I hope he's going to help me though. So, what do you want to know? All right. Uh, let's go with Graham Grundy. I'm afraid I've got some bad news about our friend Graham Grundy. Yeah? What's that? Well, he's dead. Dead? Oh, nuts. Damn shame. He was a lovely guy. Lovely. So I hear. Anyway, I'm borrowing his ID. You are? And uh, how's that working out for you? Not great. I'm having some technical problems. Well, you've come to the right fella. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the security so droid. What's the deal with that security droid? Nasty old rust bucket. Wouldn't he let me near my booze? Any more of them around? Not that I know of. I can celebrate now. Got a good stash of booze ready to go. Simple things, eh? <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, let's talk about the U chip I'm issue. Some issues with my U chip. Can you help? You bet. Ah, That's what seriously? I do. Perfect. Well, weird security flag on Graham's ID. Maybe that's why I can't access his messages. Oh? And every time someone scans my U-chip, they notice the error. A mentor from the Ministry of Well-Being is investigating it right now. You what? And you came here! You know they can track <laughs> those things, right? Oh crap, seriously? I, uh, guess. We need to get that flag removed immediately. This could bring down my entire operation. Right. All right, buddy. What do you need me to do? Quick, get your hand on my workbench now. Perfect. There we go. So uh, we're finally gonna update our chip here. Uh, please, hands. Why is it so tight? Oh crap! Just stop you getting away, <laughs> you idiot! What the heck? What do you mean? Just try to get you to? What's the cleaver Wait, for? what? What do you think? One more U chip for my trade, and two more thumbs for my collection. Are you kidding me right now? What the heck? I had to think fast. There had to be something within reach that I could use. What the crap is this guy doing? Hold up, I'm gonna have to hit him with something here. Grab. There we go. Bottle over the guy's head. Jesus. Nobody's ever got the best of Jimmy the Thumbs <laughs> until now. So, wow. you aren't lead then. I never said I was. Oh, yes, you did. You maniac. Everyone's got to have a hobby. What's wrong with stamp collecting? They call me Jimmy the Thumbs, pal. Not Jimmy the Philatelist. Thumbs? That's what you're after? And the U-chips. But mostly the thumbs. This guy is insane. You're insane. Now tell me where to find Leet. The real Leet. He's hiding out. In a place too hot for the likes of you. Folks call it the... <coughs> Hellfire Club. Save your riddles, Jimmy. <laughs> God dang it. That was crazy, and though. that, Jimmy passed out. Look like I have to find the real lead on my own. Dang it, seriously, he passed out? What the heck? Hmm. He yeah, I'm pretty out. sure I'm not gonna be able to Wish talk with him anymore. God dang it, this guy is insane though. Inventory examine. I wasn't going to get anything more out of Jimmy for a while. Alright, uh, let's grab the cleaver then. Man, come to think of it, this guy wanted to chop off my hand, seriously? What a jackass. Uh, let's grab the unicorn as well. He's not gonna be here to stop me anymore. There's a strange smell of almonds. I realized what the unicorn was made out of. Plastic explosive. Oh! What? Seriously? Well, that is freaking awesome then. We do have explosive on ourselves. I just don't exactly know how to use it. Uh, hold up, before we go and do anything else. 
Could I maybe use a plastic explosive with this guy? No. I am invincible! Yeah, 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 I heard that before. What if I turn this on? Is this gonna crush him? I mean, he's already stuck in there, so I don't know what this is all about. That's weird. Alright, let's just turn this on. And leave it on, just like that. Uh, in the meantime, let's see. Can I maybe look through the trash? No. Alrighty then, uh, in that case, let's keep going. Let's keep looking around. So, if I go through here, there's nothing else we can find. Let's just try to go through the left side then of that building. Maybe there's something I missed. Also, what about the recycling terminal here? Can I interact with it? Alright, never mind. Let's just go through here then and try to go through the left side. Maybe I'm missing something. Let's just see. Alright, buddy. Anything new on this side? Oh, look at that. Some stairs. Huh. And a poster. I human. Interesting. <laughs> Love it. Alright, let's try to go upstairs then. Let's see where this is taking us to. This is definitely gonna be a new location. Huh. Alright, there's another set of stairs that's gonna take me all the way at the top. Uh, but first, let me check on this side and see what we can find here. Okay, so we have a panel. A rusty box. The box open. Was corroded and wouldn't open. What if I use my crowbar? Alright, sorry about that. We had a glitch going on with the game. Uh, let's go with light switch. It was Examine. a heavy duty throw switch. Huh. Switch off. Interesting. Alright, let's leave that off then. Uh, I don't know what that did, but I guess I'm gonna have to check it out later on. Uh, we do have a gas control. Turn valve. Can I? Oh! Crap. <laughs> the wheel was long since broken. I couldn't uh. turn the valve off this way. Well, how am I gonna do it then? The valve controlled the flow of gas to the furnace below. Maybe I'm gonna be able to control a different valve below? I don't know, inside the building? Uh, let's keep looking around then. Let's see what else we can find around here. Alright, so there's definitely nothing on this side. Hmm. Definitely nothing we can find on this side. Man, I'm really loving the look of the game. It's really gorgeous. Look at this. <laughs> That's insane. Alright, um, you know what? Let's just try to use those stairs and uh, make it all the way at the top of this building. Let's see what else we can find at the top here. I mean, we have the gas... Vol, we got the light switch, which I don't exactly know what I got to do with. Although I'm pretty sure we had to turn off the light on it. Alright, and this one is going to take me all the way at the top. Not quite sure what I'm going to find here, but um, let's just see. Can I squeeze through there? No. Huh. I mean, we made it all the way at the top. What's the point of this, though? Tether and anchor insurance sign. The old sign was an anchor held by a hastily fastened cable. It had seen better days. Oh, wait. So if I turn this off using the crowbar... I slid the crowbar under the cable. Though I wasn't sure what I hoped to achieve. Yeah, I don't exactly know what you're gonna try to do. I think here we're gonna have to use the cleaver instead. Uh, let's see, so that we can cut this. Use the cleaver. There we go. Oh, holy crap, that's a huge anchor. What? Huh. I think that just activated something on that lever. Hold up, let me, let me go back down there and see what happens. I have a feeling we're going to be able to turn off the gas. And uh, then make our way through that furnace. 
Hopefully, I don't know, let's see. So the power is off. I mean, I can definitely turn this back on now. That's just gonna turn on the sign, I guess, right? The pipe had been cracked by the falling anchor. Gas was leaking out. All right, and now. The pipe had been cracked by the falling anchor. Gas was leaking out. Oh. Gas was leaking out. I mean, I'm not getting an option to use the inventory here so I can apply that valve again. So I don't get it. The sign was no longer a hazard. But the gas sure was. Oh, hold up. There's something here. Broken lights. The light Examine. had been ripped from the wall and the bulb smashed. Huh. Inventory. What should I do here? Plastic explosive? Oh, no way! The C4 just blew up. <laughs> that killed me instantly. I should have turned off the light first and then do that. Uh, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Let me try this again. Let me try to turn off the light. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting an animation. Interesting. And now, if I put the C4 in here... Oh, let's see. Let's try this again. Inventory... C4... There we go, buddy. And now, if I safely go at a distance and turn on the lights... I'm pretty sure this is gonna cause an explosion. Maybe a path... A path through there, through that building, through the wall, so that I can go inside? I don't know. Let's just see. Oh god. There we go, it exploded. Holy crap. Oh, never mind. This actually stopped the gas down below. Interesting. I mean, there's gonna be fire here. I'm not gonna be able to cross anymore. But, because we stopped the gas flow at the bottom, we can now go inside that secret entrance, I guess. So, let's just make our way towards Lee here. Damn, I'm really enjoying this. Look at this. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, let's try to make our way inside again. Uh, this time through the right side. Do -do. Come on, buddy. Had died down, but the smell of burning waste still filled the air. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. Or maybe I need to actually turn off this? Behind the furnace, I could now see a ladder leading up to a room. Holy crap, look at that. That's the furnace burner. The furnace was now off. Uh, can I throw something down the furnace? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, let's use these ladders then. I have a feeling this is where we're going to be able to find Lee. Hello? Anybody there? Hello. Huh. <laughs> what? Is this a kid Late. that is hiding? Late. Seriously? Oh god, she's gonna hit me with the keyboard. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey kid, are you alright? Late. What late, the late, heck? Late, late. Oh my god. Oh, is that the... What? <laughs> A Shreeman port. Let me guess. Leet? Leet! Yeah, yeah. Hold your bill, be poppy. Grown-ups are talking. Now, you. Why are you pretending to be Graham Grundy? How do you know that? My system flags every U-chip that walks through that door. And you are not Graham. Correct. Is he dead? Yes. Did you kill him? No. I just borrowed his ID. Mm. I see. Okie dokie then. Start talking. <laughs> Man, this guy is so cool. I love it. Um, let's see. Let's go with missing children first. I'm looking for a boy called Milo. 
He was kidnapped two nights ago. I tracked him here, to Union City. Hey, Poppy! You know a boy called Milo? <laughs> Bilby! Not Bilby! Milo! Ah, oh, forget it. Didn't Graham ever explain where he found Poppy? Graham didn't ever explain anything. Like I said, he was supposed to come back for the girl a couple of weeks ago. Oh wait, yeah, Poppy, this girl, we have a photo of her. Interesting, I have a feeling Graham has actually saved her from these people that are... that are kidnapping okay, kids. Okay, so what's your connection to Graham Grundy? Graham? Oh, he was just an... acquaintance. How do you know about me and him, anyway? Graham's wife mentioned you by name. She what? And I suppose she told you where to find me? No, that bit was easy. I just used the tracker. Whoa! A tracker? <laughs> yes, a toy tracker. In that bilby. Bilby! Songbird. Oh, bilby, the bilby the kid is holding. Up in the young girl's hands. That's why Graham you stole it. Jump. I get Sounds it. Like he was more than just an acquaintance. All right. I did know him. I'm the genius who put the mask demon and the data blocker on his ID. I took in the girl when he brought her to me when I knew I shouldn't have. Her name's Poppy. She's a Gaplander. Bilby Toy Tracker. Stupid, stupid, soft hearted, stupid Graham. <laughs> All right, let's go with a uh, data blocker. You said you put a data blocker on Graham's ID. Yes, but a fat lot of good it does when you tell everybody about me. Hey, Graham. Why did Graham want his own data blocked? Hell if I know. I run a tech service, not a chat show. He wanted two things from me. First was something to hide his own data from, prying eyes. And the second thing? A way out of the city, just for a day. Being an absolute bleeding genius, I manage both. Hence the mask demon. Okay, so if I want to find out what's going on here, I need to get rid of Graham's data blocker, yes? Yes. Can you remove it? Oh, yes. But no. Graham's what? little what disappearing mean? act has totally messed with my mojo. Whole new level of security has been added to the Minos Gateway. I can't get in without my mask demon triggering every damn security protocol ever invented. Can't get rid of my mask demon without getting in. Basically, I'm saying Minos is out and it's a link space thing. You wouldn't hmm. understand. Link space? What are you talking about? You remember link space? Yes, finally. I was beginning to think I was the only one in this city with a brain. That said, you may be the only one in the city with a Shreveman port. Which means, oh ho ho, today might turn out to be a good day after all. Let me show you something. Follow me. Alright, buddy. Man, I'm liking this guy. Chair? This lead guy is really awesome. It absolutely is. And huh. I suppose you want me to sit in it. You've got a problem with your ID. I've got a problem with mine. The solution <laughs> to both our problems lies in Minos. But thanks to Graham's selfish inability to not die, I can't access the system. So how do we get in? Via link space. There's a back door into Minos. Now. I'm the only man in this city with a functioning link space chair. And today, the only man in the world with a functioning Shreveman port walks through my back door. I need you to do this. You need you to do this. Poppy needs you to do this. The universe needs you to do this. The data blocker on Graham's account was stopping me finding out more about him. It sounded like Leet really could help me get rid of it. I needed to do what he said. All right, Leet. I think I'm gonna have to sit on that chair then. Uh, before that, though, let me look at some more stuff here. I could see a few errors in Leet's calculations, huh. but I doubted he'd appreciate me telling him. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is not gonna appreciate that. Oh, look at this, a scrap robot. A scrapped robot that looked past its huh. prime. Interesting. I wonder if I'm gonna find something I'm gonna be able it to was put. Some kind of old device for producing electromagnetic radiation. Our uh, our board then. Got a bed here. I guess that was Leet's bed. Either that or he had a dog. And again, nobody would let a dog sleep in that. <laughs> Uh, hold up, there's a computer here that I can interact with. Leet's terminal. Leet's super terminal was quite a piece of reclaimed tech. Interesting. Uh, can I hack anything here? I mean, yeah, it's not gonna work. What about Puppy? Poppy? Can I have a chat with her? Poppy? Leet! 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 Seriously? She's that old, she says? Is Leet taking good care of you? <laughs> I had the hmm. distinct feeling that I wasn't going to get many answers out of Poppy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's not gonna you say anything. From the gap. <laughs> I have a distinct feeling that I wasn't going. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Poppy's constant laugh. Absolutely nothing I can do. What's that you got there? Bilby. <laughs> can I hold your Bilby? No. Good luck with that one, mate. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna get Bilby from this from this girl. To bring back to um to that lady. That Bilby belongs to a friend of mine. Bilby. I know you're yeah, really. Yeah, I'm not gonna to be it. able to get it from her. Bilby. I'm pretty sure about that. But you see, a very spoiled middle-aged woman from the lower levels wants it back. Bilby. You're right. I'm gonna start over. <laughs> Bye, Poppy. All right, Bye -bye. all right. Never mind. I'm not gonna insist on that. She's definitely not gonna give it to me. Um, also, I definitely don't wanna just take it from her. That's for sure. Uh, before we go in the chair, though, huh? Hand clamp. It was another hand scanner. These things were beginning to make me nervous. I have a feeling this guy is gonna maybe remove that bug that I have on my chip. I don't know. Uh, but first of all, let me have a chat with him. Some. What? What are you doing, buddy? Don't go to sleep. So you need me to reach Minos <laughs> through Link Space? Correct. Ready to strap in? Uh, more I've questions. Got a few more questions. Oh, come on, man! Leet wants his Minos back. I know, I know. Don't, don't rush me. Who's the girl? Her name's Poppy. She's a Gaplander. Graham brought her here. Told me he'd found her wandering around somewhere. He thought she might be connected. Connected to what? Everything, or maybe nothing. Well, that narrows it down. Listen, pal. Graham had a loop, and he kept me out of it. Why does Poppy laugh all the time? Weird, huh? It's like someone turned the appy knob all the way up to 11, <laughs> and then snapped it off. Like I said, me and Graham had a strictly need-to-know relationship. All right. Poppy seems really attached to that Bilby. Bilby! Yeah. Well, if that Bilby's got a tracker in it... She's going to find herself unattached pretty quick. One way or another, you are taking that Bilby with you when you leave. Oh, okay. I am i don't mind that. How do I know you're really Leet? Said I was, didn't I? The last guy I met told me he was Leet, and that didn't end well. Ah, that'd be Jimmy. <laughs> exactly. So deal, Leet? Technical genius, ethical hacker, outlaw. Fashion guru. Whatever you want to call it. I stay off the grid. Hiding from something? Me and Union City had a little uh, disagreement a few years back. And we'll leave it at that. All right, Leet. How does this Shreveman port work again? I told you. It interfaces the network directly with your brain. You'll manifest inside the system with some form of avatar. And then, then, you'll figure it out. <laughs> now, <laughs> All right. fire this thing up. I'm excited to see if it still works. I'm Ready? excited too, but no, no, hold up. I, I do want to know more about Link Space. Mommy, what exactly is Link Space? Oh, New Union City runs on Minos. It connects all the machines and droids and doors and cameras and terminals and toasters. Minos was built on top of Link 1. A beautiful little AI network spread across the old Union City. 
This old Shreedman port is Link One technology. Good, old-fashioned, reliable hardware. And Link Space is a virtual representation of Link One? Exactly. You'll manifest it in your own virtual avatar. Since Minos, Link Space has just been forgotten about. Meaning? Meaning you can slip into Minos through a back door in Link Space. Undetected. All right then, I'm Actually, ready. Let's do this. I'm good to go. What's the worst that could happen? Ho oh, ho ho, buddy. You'd be surprised. Uh, lead? Relax. You've done this before, right? A long time ago. Hey, it's like riding a bike. First thing you gotta do, make your way through Link Space to the Minos portal. Is it easy to find? Maybe, maybe not. But Link Space should be completely empty these days. Minos portal? Then what? Find your way to the ID data center. Bring up the accounts of Graham Grundy and Elliot Richardson. Whoa. Who's Elliot Richardson? Duh. Elliot. Leet. Gotcha. What's next? Eliminate the mask demons and the data blockers on both our accounts. Piece of pie. Easy as cake. Got it? All right. I think I got it. Get to Minos. Then clear your software from our accounts. It's really that simple? Uh-huh. You'll figure it out. You seem like a bright spark. Now, let's fire this baby up. Can't wait to see if she still works. Hey! Whoa, still works. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Don't worry about it, buddy. You'll be fine. Of course, he didn't use it in a long, long time. That's why he's, he's saying that he hopes that he's, it still works. Okay, <laughs> hold on to your brain. How am I supposed to... I meant figuratively. <laughs> How am I supposed to hold on to my brain? All right, there we go. Whoa, what the... What the crap? Am I just an avatar in a virtual world? What the heck is this? This is so weird. I it got no clue Space what this is. It wasn't going to be the easy route Lee thought it was. The system had been abandoned, but they'd had the wherewithal to leave a firewall. <laughs> I had to find a way through. Damn, this is crazy. Look at this. What the heck? I'm guessing we're looking like this because this is our avatar. But man, this looks insane. Absolutely insane. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, you know what? I think we're going to have to end it up right here for now. And when we come back in the next episode, we are going to keep on exploring this virtual world here and uh, see what we got to do. Really confused right now. But um, hey, if you guys enjoyed this and want to see more Beyond the Steel Sky, please make sure to hit on that like button down below, as that will definitely help the channel quite a lot. And if you guys are new here and have subscribed yet, please consider doing that, as I'm posting videos just like this one every single day, playing many more in the adventure games and puzzle games I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy. Alright everybody, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next episode soon. Bye!